I want to say that it's not hopeless, but there is a timetable that needs to be fixed. So it's a question of what can one do to stop find alternative solutions. George Lakoff has told you the big plan. That's the right plan that needs to be done. I'm afraid there is a timing problem. And let me read something from this last July's Regents meeting. This was uh, comments by Regent Richard Blum. Who here doesn't know who Richard Blum is? Okay, fine. He's, he's, he's a big money man in San Francisco. He's also married to our United States Senator Dianne Feinstein. He's, he's a, a very nice, good man. He's done some wonderful philanthropic work. He, he, he is almost a god throughout the Himalayan region. He's a great friend of the Dalai Lama. He's given money for hospitals throughout that region. And he has donated a lot of money to the uh, Center for the Study of Global Poverty here in Berkeley, a wonderful new academic program. He gave a bunch of money for that. So he does good works. But he's a businessman, and he has his own view. And, and I'm going to tell you what his political view is of what's going on. And compare this to what you've heard from George. There's a lot of overlap here. This is Dick Blum. He was chairman of the board last year. He says, I think trying to change the legislature, the approval of the budget, even to 55% from two-thirds, requires an initiative. So he's right there with George. Understand? This was part of the diabolical plot of Prop 13. Some of us saw this when it passed some years ago and knew it was a long-term disaster and it was going to be very hard to get rid of. Complete agreement. The problem with trying to change that, and by the way, we absolutely should, is the opposition will say the reason they want to change it is because they want to increase your taxes. <laughs> All right, so, so he, he sees the world exactly the, as you do. So the question is, what is he, what, what, what he going to do about it? And he says, so I know that there's some commission to review the whole state taxes, state tax system, but we need to be here for the university. And we need to be in Sacramento for the university and for change. That sounds a little vague, but I'll tell you what I think it means. He'd like to see these things happen, but we got to act to save the university. And there's a timetable for that. At this regent meeting that started with President Udoff saying, well, we have this furloughs and pay cuts for one year, it'll probably go to two, maybe three. And then some, some person came with a letter signed by 300 UC faculty members who are leaders in science and engineering and medicine. They belong to the National Academy and they said, we love this university, we want it to continue. And she said, but it has to be fixed in one year. And before you know it, by the end of this regents meeting, everyone says, yes, we have one year to fix this problem. So, you know, that's last July. So this, this is one academic year. So, you know, George's initiative might get on the ballot for, for next November. But these regions are going to be making decisions this coming spring. And they're going to say, now, you know, I can't prove this. This is a political guess that I'm offering. Think about it. They're going to say, gee, we hope that passes, but we can't count on it. The faculty are going to start leaving if we can't do something definite. So we have to take these steps. Student fees up, more out of state students, and so on bigger steps in the direction of privatization. Now, the big danger is, of course, you start further down that road, it gets very slippery, and you go faster and faster, and it's hard to turn around. So my, my, my thought is we need to create some alternative proposals. I think it's possible, not easy. Some alternative that doesn't close off the changing of the Constitution and the fundamental budget problem in California as an ongoing problem but something that can deal in a rather short term very specifically with how to preserve, in other words, how to save the university from the privatization that is now on schedule. I have a few ideas about this, but it's not a one-person job. It needs a group of people. I put together, I've invented a little research seminar that I'm going to give this semester Tuesdays starting tomorrow, uh, 3.30 to 5 in uh, my physics building, Burge Hall, room, room 468. So it's open to any faculty and students who want to join in. And, uh, you know, of course, if we come up with some clever idea, it has to be well-developed with a lot of input, and then it has to be sold to the whole faculty. That's 
the only way in which to make something that the regions might have to pay attention to. That's an enormous challenge. <coughs> but I think it's worthwhile. Thank you.